Figuring out what works can save lives. During the age of sail, scurvy claimed more than two million lives. That was more than storms, battles and shipwrecks combined. There were lots of different ideas about what could cure scurvy. Everyone had their own theory about what would work. No one had properly tested any of them. Then, in 1747, a 31-year-old ship surgeon, James Lind, ran one of history's first randomised trials. Pairs of sailors, sick with scurvy, were assigned to different potential cures. Out of all the different cures tested, the only one that worked was the oranges and lemons. By the end of the week, those who had taken cider, seawater or vinegar were still sick with scurvy. Those who were given lemons and oranges were up and about, even helping to take care of the others. By the early 1800s, sailors in the British Navy were drinking 200,000 litres of lemon juice every year. And while it took the British Navy a long time to adopt the cure, they did it faster than their main rivals at the time. Led by Admiral Nelson, the British, with a smaller fleet, were able to win the 1805 Battle of Trafalgar against a larger fleet of French and Spanish ships that were riddled with the scurvy. Nelson wasn't just a better tactician. The British had done a better job of fighting scurvy, and they did it by a simple tool, the randomised trial. In honour of Lind and his contributions, the British Institute of Naval Medicine has a lemon tree adorning its official crest. It's a reminder of the power of randomised trials to save lives and change the course of history. Authorised by Andrew Lee, ALP, Gungahlin.